Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel. And uh, one of the things that I guess asked from time to time is about the layout of SDR Uno. So once you have installed the software, your RSP device is connected to your computer. When you start SDR Uno, you will have a way that it starts up that will give you some windows at random sometimes. You're not really sure how actually it's going to pop up. But it always pops up in the same way because there's a um, file that is on the PC that actually tells it how to start up. Notice how mine starts full screen with all the little windows that I need and I want uh, next to each other at the top, including the main waterfall at the bottom. So um, what happens is that you can customize this by simply moving around and changing the size of each window. So if you click at the top of each window, hold the mouse button, notice how moving around moves around the window. And of course, if you go on the edge, you notice that it makes arrows, double arrows. You can change the size of these same windows. So what you want is to have something that will actually be the size that you want, fit like you want. And once you actually have the proper size for the window itself, then, so for example here, I can put it like this. You notice that how it was capable of fitting perfectly. So here we go. Don't look at the, the weird artifacts. I'm using a Windows uh, dev channel build, so it has these weird artifacts. Uh, and uh, the other thing is that you can do this with most other windows. Uh, and what I like to have as the main windows are the main panel, the audio panel, the main control, receive control panel, and I also have the... Uh, X control here for AGC and even noise reduction. Uh, all sorts of things are here. And of course, the big panel at the bottom with the waterfall and everything. This is what I like to have. So usually what I'll do is I'll just make sure that I have all of these showing up. Uh, which panel I want to have, which panel I don't want to have. And of course, uh, once all of that is done, what you will do after that is to simply... Um, make sure that you click a very simple thing that will help you uh, save for the future. And um, there is actually a button that says Save WS right here on the main panel. That stands for Save Workspace. And notice there's a number, Workspace 1 because you can actually have different layouts. So depending on what you do, you can have workspace one, two, three, four, five, but the main panel, the main workspace, you can save immediately by just clicking Save WS. That means that the next time that you shut down SDR Uno and you want to use it again on the same computer, it will actually start up exactly the way you set it up and always with the windows exactly in the same spot on your computer. This saves time because you don't have to start playing around with the layout every time you start your uh, software to listen to the software to find receiver. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.